is a a uh, very closed off, uh, internalized, uh, button up sort of guy. He's a recovering alcoholic, um, and he is uh, reconnecting at the top of the film with his estranged brother um, as they are uh, searching for their father who's gone missing. Um, and as they go through this process, they find a haunted VHS board game, and Barbara Crampton shows up, and things get really bad. So, probably a stupid question. What attracted you to this project? I, right? It's like, Haunted VHS board game, Barbara Crampton. Uh, it's, it, honestly, it's a role that I haven't ever played before, and there's a lot of deep, like, actual emotional resonance in all the characters. And that speaks to, to Jackson and Steve Scarlatta, who, who wrote the film. I mean, they, they really took great care to make it, um, to make it, you know, really emotionally true. And that, to me, is such a gift as an actor, you know, to, to be able to really have something to sink my teeth into. Uh, so it was great. And, I mean, the cast is amazing. Chase and Bria and, and you know, of course, Barbara. Like, oh, my God. You know, tell, tell like, 12-year-old me I'm going to be working with Barbara Crampton. Are you kidding me? I mean, you've done a lot of horror. I'm guessing you are a horror fan yourself. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I uh, you know, Bruce Campbell's my icon, you know. I, I, I uh, growing up, you know, my idols were... You know Robert England and Jeffrey Combs and and Barbara and you know all, all these uh, you know Boris Karloff and Peter Lorre you know those are the greats to me so uh, you know to get to be in this business and and you know to have had a, a career in horror is like an incredible blessing like I I'm super lucky and and to get to come here and you know meet you know all these other horror fans that are just as into it as me it's so cool i'm so glad that horror is alive and well and thriving it's great how do you feel like beyond the gates fits into the horror pantheon as a whole um you know i think you know, people call it an 80s throwback which it definitely is but i think more than being a throwback it's it just has the soul of those movies you know of like like the gate you know is a great example you know we jackson and i were just talking about that the other day about how it's it's got this sort of intangible quality of uh of, of, you know, ha having an emotional heart and also being unafraid to go totally bonkers. Uh, and that's what I loved about the 80s. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I'm glad that, that now we have Beyond the Gates because I feel like it, uh, I feel like that's where it kind of fits. You know, it allows us not just to remember what it was, but to use some of the, some of the techniques that we loved from those movies and now just make a movie today with it. Uh, yeah. What do you feel like it's its closest comparison, if it has one? To something that's out, like, right now? Gosh. Um, maybe, like, something like Phantasm, you know? Something that is, uh, you know, it's a bonkers movie, uh, but it's, it's ultimately, you know, about... You know, like, whereas Phantasm is ultimately you know, about a kid that, that is, you know, encountering this, this, you know, scary entity, you know, and, and about, you know, reconnecting with his brother and all of that. You know, for for me, Beyond the Gates is is all about uh, two brothers coming to grips with their, uh, you know, with with their relationship with each other and with their relationship with their father. Um, what are you up to next? More horror? More horror. Uh, I just wrapped production on on my directorial debut. As a, it's a feature film. It's called Sequence Break. Uh, stars Chase Williamson uh, from uh, who's in Beyond the Gates uh, and uh, and and Fabian Therese, who's in Starry Eyes and Southbound. Uh, it's cool. It's sort of a Cronenbergian metaphysical trip down the rabbit hole. Uh, it's really fun. So we're in post on that right now. Um, really excited about that. I'm I'm eager to. When I leave here, I'm going straight back into the editing room, and we're gonna finish it up.